Ding dong, the witch is dead. The wicked witch is dead. Good morning. It's Friday, January the 3rd, and this is The Drill. Thank you. I'm Ron, your host and the only true conservative in the United States today. I'm a U.S. Air Force veteran, a Christian, and a registered independent. My podcast is made available through Spreaker and can be heard on iTunes, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. So, you think you're conservative? Do you consider yourself an environmentalist? Do you think of yourself as a leader or change agent? Do you believe in exceptions, middle ground, compromise? Then you're not a conservative. Today, good riddance to bad rubbish and the value neutral left. All that when I come back. Thank you. Welcome back. The Cuds Force Commander is dead. His death is a good thing. We celebrate. We celebrate not so much the croaking of a zero, but the triumph of good over evil. If this scumbag wasn't the devil himself, he was certainly one of the devil's disciples. His death is not only good for us, the United States, but good for everyone else in the entire world. Every country around the world should be singing our praises for erasing this smudge, this stain on the human record. God bless President Trump, and God bless the USA. Up next, there's no such thing as value neutrality. Thank you, thank you. Value neutrality is a contradiction in terms. Either you're a patriotic American or you're a traitor. If a lefty tries to suggest that the Cuds Force commander was a human being with a family, etc., in other words, they try to suggest that there are no good people or bad people, only people, true conservatives have to call them on it by asking them whose side they are on. The lefty may try to suggest that there's middle ground, using black and white as an example. But black and white are contraries, while right and wrong are contradictories. There is no middle ground with contradictories. The Cuds Force commander was our enemy. Not because I say so, not because President Trump says so, but as a matter of reality. Back in a minute. In conclusion... Uh, It's a good thing that the Cuds Force commander is dead and anyone else that says otherwise is wrong. Who is a true conservative? He's the person that understands that conservatism is not just about politics, but culture as well. He is not selfish, but minds his own business. He acts like an adult. He is patriotic and uses common sense. He expresses what he knows and does so with absolute certainty. He makes judgments, refuses to speculate, speaks clearly and definitively, and is not afraid to say no. He's open-minded asking why, rather than why not. He is consistent, credible, and influential, not ashamed of his existence, unafraid to learn or correct his mistakes. He is a normal American, and he is better than the socialist. He is a better friend, father, brother, family member, and a better person, period. You have to know that. If you don't know with every fiber of your being that being a true conservative is best then you're wasting your time. And that brings me to the end of another episode of The Drill. Remember that the left has no authority, no power, and they can't win. Think about it.